I've made tons of videos and streams on this channel, some good, and some that I pretend don't exist. But which ones are the best? I'm here to answer just that. I'll be judging on how much I enjoyed playing it, was it a good idea, how well I made that idea come to life, and finally, just how I feel about it in general. Of course, this is just my opinion, and if you disagree and want to make your own version of this tier list, I left the link in the description. First up, we have Tears of the Kingdom. S, I'm seeing a couple S's, some A's, some S. It is going straight into C, B tier. Now, I know, oh, B tier, it's Tears of the Kingdom. Here's my logic. Tears of the Kingdom has been phenomenal so far. I've loved every second I've played it. But... At the time of streaming this and recording this, I haven't finished it yet. Right now, I've played like probably like one fifth of the game. So it's like I haven't even gotten close. It's only 20% complete. So I can't, as much as I love it, I feel like I can't give it S or A because S would be like, oh, it's the greatest game and I've played it fully. Because here's the thing. If it continues as it is, it will definitely be S tier. But as of right now, it is B tier because it's incomplete. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm going to say C. Primarily, first of all, no hate to Paper Mario. Kind of same general reason I haven't finished the series yet. But I think the reason why I'm placing it below Tears of the Kingdom is that Tears of the Kingdom is a complete other game. Like, Tears of the Kingdom is an open world experience where you can go and do this or do that or whatever. And it's just this gigantic, like, free run. While, t while Paper Mario, while still being a great game, is more kind of narrow, if you will. Next up, my very, very first video. And it's you can tell it's the very first one I ever made because it's the only one of my videos that doesn't have a proper thumbnail. <laughs> like, it is, it is, oh boy, it is, a, it, is a, it is a video for sure. This was literally me recording with my mic and just the Xbox capture feature, which sucks because it only records 10 minutes at a time. So I had to like record for 10 minutes, then record again. And then I also had to link up the audio from the game and my mic because they weren't like put together. They were separated. So it was absolutely awful. But <laughs> give it a D tier because it kind of started it all because this was kind of the this was kind of the first thing I really made. And while it was pretty bad, like it's here's the thing. In my opinion, it is F tier 1000%. But it, the reason I'm putting it in D tier because I'm putting it in D tier because of the simple fact that it is the thing that started it all. It is the kickstart of all that we've accomplished so far. So that's why I'm putting it in D. But otherwise, it would be in the trash can, like at the bottom of the volcano. <laughs> like, look, it doesn't even have a thumbnail. <laughs> and like, you can literally see like the HUD and stuff if you look close enough. And it's really funny. Next up, we have the first Fall Guys video. Yeah, this one. Going into the F tier, absolute garbage. <laughs> like the other one, the editing is bad and the thumbnail is awful and it was just awful. Second and arguably the biggest reason is there's nothing in the video. I just play Fall Guys. I don't do anything. I don't get a win. I don't do anything cool. I just play Fall Guys. That was it. There was no challenge. There was no nothing. It just randomly ends and the video is just like... Hey guys, look at me play Fall Guys. And then I just, like, nothing. I don't get a win. Nothing exciting happens. It's the most boring, mediocre gameplay of Fall Guys you've ever seen. Next up, we have the next, the new Fall Guys season. I forget what season this was. It was like Fall Guys, I think it might have been season two. So it seems like a lot of people kind of agree that it's trash and they're right. I'm putting that in deer. Deer? <laughs> yeah, my favorite tier, deer. <laughs> I'm putting it in the D tier because of simply the fact that it is better than this one. Because this one, while I only play the game, I at least play the new season and there are actual hype stuff that happens. Generally, this one was just like, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest. All right, next up, Fortnite 20 Drops Joneses. I remember, I remember this one very fondly. Let me know what you guys think in chat, but I remember this one very fondly. I remember... I remember, like, I, I remember seeing Luke the Notable kind of starting to post more because that's where they got the inspiration from. Uh, I remember seeing him post more, like, 100 days of Minecraft and stuff. And I liked Fortnite at the time. I still do, but it's not, like, I don't know. It's not something I'd post on my channel because I'm be more of a Nintendo creator now. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Like, I remember it fondly primarily because it was something I wanted to do forever. All right, I'm going to put this... Uh... You know what? I'll say, I'll say C tier. It's 
It's not bad. I don't know. I think it's just fine. Nothing special. It's nothing amazing. All right. Next up, we have Shaggy from Multiverses. The thumbnail's good. The video is fine. It was kind of at the time when Multiverses came out. Not, not recently, but the first time it came out. And I was like, oh, I'll play Multiverses because I like, uh, I like things from Warner Brothers, you know, and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I think it's good. And then I remember seeing a bunch of memes at the time about Shaggy and using his 0.01% of his power. So then I ended up like kind of deciding to play it. So then I made the thumbnail and I think it turned out fine. It's kind of boring because there's not really any like twists or goals or anything. It's just kind of playing with Shaggy. So it's not the greatest, but it's also not the worst. And for that reason, it is going straight into B tier actually. Because I think that as of right now, while actually, mm, no, I feel like it's actually high C tier. High C tier, I think, is actually better. Another thing as well is with these earlier videos before I kind of started doing more Nintendo stuff, like I didn't really enjoy it as much, you know? Once I started making content for Nintendo, I just started going full throttle with that because I loved Nintendo. LeBron next. So LeBron, this video, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to give you guys time putting it in F. That was bad. No hate to LeBron, obviously. No hate to LeBron. But it's just like, it, it just, it like, first of all, I didn't like his character in multiverses. I didn't find him fun to play. It was weird and all that. He was funny. It was really funny that he was in the game, because why in the world is LeBron James here? So it was really funny. This period before I started uploading, like, uh, Nintendo was, like, the weird, like, teenage part of my career. Going through, like, you know, puberty and stuff. And it's just... The time I pr prefer not to look at and forget about. Okay, next up, we're going to do these two together. So we got the Finn No Backpack Challenge and the Jake video. For those of you who don't know, these two videos I kind of intertwined where every match I won, I would get a gem for the end Kyridian. And then after getting nine wins or nine gems, I would complete the challenge. And I spread it across two videos so both Finn and Jake could partake. Uh, I'm going to put the Jake video into high D tier because... It has a challenge, but Jake doesn't really have a challenge. It's just kind of playing as Jake. However, I did enjoy playing as Jake. However, Finn, this Finn video, this, this may surprise some people, but it's going into A tier. A tier for sure. Now, why? Well, a few reasons. First is simply the fact that this is actually my first video to ever hit 100 views. First one. Second reason is the challenge was so good. For those of you who don't know, during Multiverse's original release, Finn's backpack attack, which was like his up B in like Smash or whatever, was so broken and so OP that everybody hated it. Everybody wanted it nerfed or gone or disappear from existence because it was broken, spammable, and no one could stop it. Like everybody hated it. It was the worst thing ever. So taking that away from Finn and doing a no backpack challenge was like the hardest thing because every single match you basically can't recover really. Um, It is like the best attack he has and you're basically just nerfing yourself to the ground. Like it was, it was difficult. It was fun. It was fun to edit. It was awesome. Like I enjoyed it so much. It was honestly one of the best. I know that that's shocking, but I just enjoyed it. Like it was such a good video it was a good challenge it was fun to edit fun to make it was awesome now we've got two more multiverses videos first up we have the multiverses crazy roster but like the big thing with um with the crazy roster video was i was just again it's another video where there's no purpose or whatever it's just kind of whatever so for that reason i'm gonna be putting it into put there uh d tier now Bugs versus everybody in multiverses. This video, though, was the longest video I had to edit because the problem was I tried to defeat everybody with Bugs Bunny, but there were, like, three characters that, like, nobody ever played. So I literally, like, off stream, off stream, I literally went into matches and just tried to find the character until eventually I did, and then I hit the record button and then, you know, defeated them, whatever, and it was exhausting. Like... It was the longest video I've made. It was just, oh boy, it was a nightmare to try to find anybody that was actually, like, using the characters, you know? And then I'm gonna put this, hmm, 
I'll put it... Put it here... Oh, I'm debating. I'm debating. Where do I put it? Ah, uh, where does it go? Is it better or worse than Minecraft? <laughs> uh, I think I'll put it below it. Just because I think that this... Again, it's just... This gets so much points because it's the start. Like, it is literally what started my entire journey. So, next up, we have Fortnite, the new season, whatever. I don't remember which season. It was the season with Spider-Gwen. And, oh boy, this is an F tier, easily. This one sucks. <laughs> this is probably the worst one I've made. First of all, I, like, rushed it. I didn't get a win. Nothing exciting happens. And it was kind of a pointless, boring video. Biggest thing was, again, I tried to get it out in, like, an hour. It sucked. And I literally had to, like, re-edit, like, three or four times because I forgot to take out audio that was copyrighted. Now we're getting into the good stuff, like my first streams and some good videos I'm proud of and stuff. Next up, we have my first ever stream on YouTube, Mario Odyssey Assist Mode. And also, this is the video. These two, I'm going to be putting into uh, B tier because... First of all, this is going to be ranked higher because I think the video was really well edited. I added like a cool Bowser animation in it that I'm really proud of. And then this was the first ever stream I did on YouTube. And again, another Kickstarter. Plus, it was really fun. It was a weird challenge and it was kind of it could have been thought out way better. Like I could have thought more deeply into the challenge. I could have come up with a better challenge, whatever. But in the end, I didn't do that, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. But the main thing with that is... Why can't I think of my my brain is malfunctioning? Ah, uh, cut. But yeah, main thing is that it was it was a fine challenge. It was fun because it's Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey is really fun. But the challenge could have been thought through a bit better. Next up, we have Balloon World. This was basically just me playing Balloon World and trying to 100% the game. And honestly, eh, this was C. I got to enjoy a lot with you guys. I got to enjoy... Honestly, this was kind of like, again... This was when I really started meeting people and seeing people and building a community. So it was nice to stream and talk to you guys and hang out with y'all. And it was really nice. But again, the, the idea, the challenge wasn't the greatest. So next up, we have my birthday bingo. So for last year, uh, to celebrate my birthday, I streamed a Minecraft bingo uh, thing with uh, my own custom bingo card and stuff that I made. It was really fun. And it went really well. And honestly, it was just exciting. So this one, I'm going to be putting into... Putting it into... I'll put it into B for birthday. <laughs> but no, that's not only it. Again, video premise. Like, the thing is with these earlier videos, I'm kind of still figuring out what I want to do. And this was kind of a video that I had an idea for. But then I realized that, like, it wasn't the greatest. And honestly, I could have thought about it more. One thing that I've definitely learned about doing a lot of streams is to plan because I need to plan things out more because there's too many times where I just don't plan anything out and it just kind of falls apart. All right, now we're getting to something really good. My first ever playthrough of Breath of the Wild. A lot of people saying S and you'd be surprised, but this is going into D tier. <gasps> Now, hang on, hang on. Lower your pitchforks. Lower your pitchforks, okay? Lay lower your pitchforks, okay? Lower your pitchforks. Let me explain. So, for those of you who don't know, when I started my Breath of the Wild series, my first playthrough, this playthrough right here, I got to uh, Kakariko Village or wherever it is, wherever, like Hateno. I got to Hateno Village, right? And then I accidentally... And like, I kid you not, I accidentally deleted my save file. I deleted it by accident. I completely accidentally, I literally accidentally deleted my save file. I had to start up another one. So here is my second playthrough of Breath of the Wild. And that obviously goes a nest here. So yeah, no, I'm not saying Breath of the Wild is bad. It's just this one literally, I made it to Hateno and then it ended right then and there. So like, I do believe Breath of the Wild was S tier easily. But again, this one, literally, I deleted it after like literally like an hour, like after like six hours or whatever. So yeah, don't worry. I didn't put Breath of the Wild in D tier. That's why I was saying to lower your pitchforks. That's why I was saying to lower your pitchforks. And everyone started rising, raising their pitchforks and stuff. Now we have the Breath of the Wild DLC. You know, it can sit comfortably beside it in S tier. 
This was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. The Monk Maz fight was awesome. That was sweet. It was a very fun uh, playthrough. I enjoyed it a ton. And generally, like, it, it's, it, it just added more to Breath of the Wild, which I really liked. So next up, we have the best of 2022. Honestly, because it's the best of, I'm going to put it right here above everything else I made in 2020. Uh, and it's going to go there because I think that, first of all, it's the funniest moment. So there's nothing boring about it. Second, it's uh, actually, I really like how I did it because I put the thumbnails in the bottom right. So if there's a funny moment you like, you can easily find it. Probably a video that a lot of you found me from and probably a lot of you probably know me from. Pokemon Legends Arceus Shiny Only is going straight into S tier. It is top. First of all, it was so much fun to film. I love Arceus as a game. It is one it is the, my favorite Pokemon game and it's not even close. It is my favorite uh, Pokemon game. I love the shiny like, sound effect it helps with shiny hunting so much so it's not annoying it was just fun it was long and i had to shiny hunt a lot but it wasn't like i was sitting there for 20 million years trying to find it you know i wasn't sitting there in the tall grass looking for 20 years trying to find it it was just ah, like it was and it's so easy and arceus is a great game seriously it is the best pokemon game by far and plus it has 12,000 views, which, you know, pretty big, <laughs> pretty, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of views, you know? So I think that kind of speaks for itself. Skylander, Nuzlocke, Swap Force, but you choose which Skylander I unlock. This was a celebration for a hundred subscribers. That's wild to think about that. This I made when I had a hundred and now we're making this one when I had a thousand. Like, that is, whew, it's wild. I think this one is going to go into A. Primarily because, first of all, I love Swap Force. Swap Force is my favorite Skylanders game. It's awesome. I love it so much. Second, it was to celebrate 100 subscribers, which was a huge milestone for me and is still, like, a huge stepping stone in where I am today. So it's just, like, it is such a foundational piece of the channel. And to be honest, I think the concept was amazing. Like, you guys getting to vote on which Skylanders I unlock after every level, a Nuzlocke. The problem is the fact that it was almost impossible. Because, literally, like, you, I, I did it so I had to reset. And the thing with Skylanders is they have this mode called Nightmare Mode, where, for those of you who don't know, uh, for those of you who don't know, in Nightmare Mode in Skylanders, you unlock only after beating the game, and it's about a million times harder than the than the hardest difficulty you have before beating the game. So what ends up happening is they expect you at this point to have around level 15, level 20 Skylanders, and it would still be difficult. But I'm going into it with level one Skylanders. Do you realize the, 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 the strength difference? They expect you to have level 15s and struggle a lot. And yet I'm going into it with level ones and if they die, they're gone forever, like Pokemon Nuzlocke. It, like, it literally was, it literally felt impossible. We have another Skylanders Nuzlocke. This one was for Imaginators. I'll give you guys some time to deliberate to see what you guys think. The actual top of C tier, you actually nailed it right on the money, Leopard. I don't know how you did that, but it was even harder this time because they expect you to use Imaginators, which have like a level cap of level 40. So it's like even more difficult and it's just like so it's even more difficult and the boss fights you have to use them otherwise you just die and otherwise it was fine it was to celebrate 500 subs and generally it was a fine it was a fine thing it was sort of fun sort of challenging it just wasn't as good as it could have been it could have been better i could have done a little bit more to make it like i could have could have put some extra like you know, sauce into it, you know, could have, um, given it that, that lightful, what did I say earlier? The lightful effect. Oh, I'm going back. Cause I know that one of you, the lightful flare. That's it. It could have used some more lightful flare. Next up we have tears, of the, or not tears, of the kingdom breath of the wild, but every five minutes I spin a wheel. Now, speaking of earlier, when I said I accidentally deleted a save file, this is where I accidentally logged on to the wrong account on my Switch and deleted an account doing one of these attempts. That's what happened. 
I forgot which account I was supposed to do this video on and then accidentally deleted one of the save files. So this is the video that caused that to die. <laughs> but yeah, this is literally like, this is literally, this is the culprit right here. Now, this was supposed to be, this was supposed to be a, uh, a Halloween special because I was thinking, oh, trick or treating, you know, oh, that'll be fun and doing a trick or treat wheel. Like that'd be fun. The problem was again, like a lot of these, I didn't think it through. <laughs> I really, really needed to learn this, huh? But yeah, I did not plan it. I did not think about it. I just was like, you know, this would be a cool idea. I really like, I, I obviously it makes it sound like I'm way lazier than I am, but I just didn't actually end up thinking about it as much as I should have. I should have spent more time on it or like just more preparing. Cause the thing is, is I, I, I didn't prepare a lot. I kind of just had the idea, came up with whatever I could and then recorded, edited and threw it like that. Uh, brains, my goldfish memory is acting up. What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> so for that reason, I'm going to be putting it in right there, B tier. Because I think, I think the thing with that is it's like, the thing is, is it has a really good idea. The idea there, here's the thing. This video has the best idea so far on the channel. Aside from like Legend Dark is Shiny only, but that's like a exception. There's a few ideas that are better, but pretty much it is a stellar idea. I think it is one of the best ideas I've come up with and one of the best kind of challenges I've done. Again, problem was I didn't think it through enough and I didn't uh, workshop the idea. I kind of just went with the idea that popped in my head and then just was like, okay, that's good enough. When I should have been like, okay, how do I make this into something better? And that was kind of the biggest issue, I think, with that. Next up, soldier only. This was, and will be, because I'm going to be editing into a video at some point. I took everything I learned. I found an idea that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a something only run in Breath of the Wild. I didn't know what. I looked into it and I settled on Soldier because I thought Soldier would be challenging, but fun at the same time. It wouldn't be so annoying at one point. It would just be fun. And boy, howdy, was I right. Get that in S tier right now. Put that in S tier right now. Because this was the greatest idea and execution I have ever done. Literally, the greatest. Because I thought it through for once. I used the thing in my head, you know, the thing that the teachers have been telling me is important all my life. I was using it finally. I finally decided, you know what? I'm going to think this through and I'm going to look at it a bit. And what ended up happening was I created my favorite series yet. This is one of, if not my favorite series right now. It is so good. It has the, it has, there's a lot of, there's a lot of searching involved in it, which was whatever, but the challenge was so much fun. It was fun and challenging at the same time. And the Ganon boss fight, oh, if you guys didn't know, the Ganon boss fight for me was a big, big challenge. While it was aggravating, it was so much fun. Next up, we have Pikmin 4. My Pikmin 4 playthrough. Pikmin 4 was a series that I think I had requested for a long time. I think this was like the first series that people had been to telling me to do. Because I have a long list, for those of you who don't know, of games that I need to play. And this, I think, was like the very first one on that list. And... It was um it was kind of exciting and wasn't really and it was it was kind of exciting and fun so I'm gonna put it here. Pikmin 4 was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It wasn't a terrible series at all. And when I put it in B tier, it is no by by any means it is not bad. I liked it. I enjoyed it. You know, I don't like I look at it fondly and I enjoy it. I truly do. But I'm not, like, looking at it and going, oh, that was the greatest series ever. But I'm also not looking at it like it's the worst. I was just, I look at it and I'm like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it for what it was. And frankly, I think it was really good. Next up, we have the Mario Rabbids uh, Sparks of Hope and the Sparks of Hope DLC. But, like, these games were very, very good. I, I think that these games were super fun. I love the wackiness of the Rabbids and uh, just the... 
the the joy of the game because like you play the game and you just feel the joy of you know the characters you know um biggest thing with these though is these are like the kind of game where it's like if you want a game just to enjoy and to have fun this is the game i'm not trying to say every game isn't like that that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is this is just a cheerful wholesome game that you just enjoy you know you don't you know there's no like there is a goal obviously but it's just like a nice kind of obviously you have to strategize and stuff but it is just such a nice game like it is a game where it's like if i came home like like if i played this game when i was like in school right i would love to come home and just play this game because it just is such a nice way to kind of like cool down and just kind of like take a break you know so for that reason i'm gonna put it into there we go okay i was wondering why it wasn't working i'm um, putting them both into uh c tier we have hyrule warriors this is a series i didn't intend on doing but because of um because of people asking me during breath of the wild to play it because i had no idea this game even existed like truly and i've met so many people who didn't as well like the most common question i got when i played this game is what mod is this for breath of the wild or which version of this is this or is this tears of the kingdom is this breath of the wild stuff like that because like nobody knows about it and i think the main reason is simply because it's called hyrule warriors age of calamity it doesn't have zelda or link in the title at all which was weird because when i searched it up i searched legend of zelda age of calamity didn't pop up and then literally next stream i had to ask what is it called and then people were like oh hyrule warriors oh the game itself was fun. The beat em up is really fun. Seeing the enemies just fly is so, like, so satisfying. And for that reason, it's going to go into... Oops. There's so much, like, lag now. Putting it into... You know what? No, I'll put it up. I'll put it in top of B tier. Actually, no, I'll move the DLC up there. Main reason is it was so much fun to stream, and I enjoyed it a lot. Again, the video idea could have been done a bit better. I could have strategized it a bit better but overall it was really really fun overall the game was easily one of the best ones i've played and again i highly recommend it like it is just such a good one like it's just so much fun and the story i didn't even i i completely forgot about the story the story of this game is the greatest story you know what no i'm bumping it up i'm bumping it up to a tier i'm not gonna put it up above the dlc because the dlc is pretty much just everything in this but with more so it's just this but more but when i tell you the story of this game is the greatest i've seen in gaming i am i am it is an understatement it is so so good it is an amazing amazing story the emotion the like the the character building the world the like it is honestly genuinely some of the greatest storytelling i've ever seen at the very end of the game, I remember I was not teary-eyed, but I was feeling like sad. And as someone who doesn't typically like, you know, cry or like get saddened by movies, this is like a pretty emotional thing for me to, you know, feel. So like the story just invests you so well and it just does such a good job at making you feel like, you know, like you're in the world and you get the characters and it's just seriously if you want a game that has an amazing story get this game you will not be disappointed i swear i'm like oh it's so good we have mario wonder but um but uh every level i spin a wheel this was honestly an amazing video for those of you who don't know this is where the bread meme originated basically uh one stream what ended up happening was uh, one stream, for some reason, chat decided to turn me into bread. Uh, if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description for a sh uh, short for it. So if you want to go check out what I mean, go check that out. It's really funny, and it's a big meme in the community. And it was so much fun, because every level, I had, like, I, I thought it through. I had creative ideas for the wheel. It was super fun. Mario Wonder was a great game. And it was just, it was so much fun. So, for that reason, I'm going to throw it into... We'll throw it in A. Next up... We have Mario versus Donkey Kong, uh, the remake that came out for the Switch. This one, the game, I don't know, the game was pretty short, and it was a puzzle game, and, like, 
it wasn't bad at all. To be honest, this one's pretty, like, there's not a whole lot to say about it. Like, it's just kind of, it's very, very mid. It's very mid of the road. Like, it's just like, there's nothing wrong, but there's also nothing amazing either. Like, I don't have nostalgia for it because I didn't grow up with it. This was the first time I played it, and it was just kind of, eh. We have Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG, I guess I should say. The remake for the Switch, another remake, because Nintendo likes making remakes, I guess. This game was my first experience with Mario RPG, and I gotta say, the game itself was very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Again, didn't play the original. I loved it a lot, and frankly, I thought it was really good. Frankly, I thought it was one of the, like, I was gonna say one of the best. Uh, it was one of the, one of my favorite games I've played. And to be honest, I would probably put it, put it there. I'll put it, actually, yeah, no, I'll put it there. While there was no end goal, like a challenge or something, I got to play the game, which was sort of the end goal, and it was just fun. Like, that's the thing as well, is like a lot of this is just ranked off of fun as well. It's not all about what idea it was or whatever. Some of it's just how I felt, and I truly feel like this was a great game. I enjoyed it a lot. The art style, I really adored. Like, I love the, like, the little, little guys, you know? Next up, we have Sonic Superstars. Oh boy, this is a fun one. Sonic Superstars was, oof, it was something. It was, honestly, I think I gotta put it in D. Like, it was not good. The game just felt so clunky and weird, and the power-ups were bizarre. Maybe I'm being a bit unfair. Maybe it doesn't deserve to be in D. You know what? No, I think it probably deserves to be higher. Because looking at D tier, it kind of doesn't deserve to be there. I think it deserves to be in C. Because, and it, again, it's just like, it was so clunky. There was so much parkour, and it just... Like, I want to go fast, <laughs> but it feels like every two seconds something's in the way and I'm bumping into something. Next up is Princess Peach Showtime. <laughs> I can see that Chad is clearly excited for Kirby, so we're going to be doing that after this. Princess Peach Showtime was the most manly game I've ever played. It was the most manly of manly games. It was super manly. And to be honest, it was just a nice game. It wasn't difficult. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't, like, it was just, like, I could turn my brain off and just play. Have fun, you know? And for that reason, I'm putting it right there. Actually, yeah. I think it has a very similar vibe to Mario Sparks of Hope, where it's kind of that, you know, you have fun, and it's just a fun game, you know? That's kind of how I feel. But it, it's, it, but it was very manly, obviously. Now, next up, we have Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This honestly was an amazing introduction for Kirby. Because obviously I've said it before, but I played Star Allies and Kirby's Robo Land on the 3DS, and I enjoyed them a fair amount, but I never really got into Kirby. I always thought Kirby was cool, but there was never really a game that, you know, kind of led me into it, if you will. There was no game that, like, kind of pulled me into the Kirby world. That was until Forgotten Land. Oh boy, I enjoyed Forgotten Land so much. The power-ups, the upgrades, the enemies, the stages... The beautiful, beautiful art style. It was so, so good. Like, it is easily... Everybody in chat pretty much has already guessed it. It is easily S tier. I'm gonna put it right behind the soldier only. Because, seriously, this was amazing. This was exactly what I wanted a, from a Kirby game. Because I always thought Kirby was such a good game franchise. And I always wanted to be more invested in it. But there was never... Never a game that, like, really pulled me in. I liked Kirby Star Allies, and I liked Kirby Robo Land, but I needed a game that, like, dragged me into the series, you know, that really pulled me in. And, again, like I said, Forgotten Land did exactly that. Next up, we have my newest video, which is at the time of recording, obviously. If I ask a question in Mario Wonder, the game ends. Now, this was a video that I had thought months before it released, and I really finalized it. This was so much fun. Inspired by Doug Doug, um, this video was amazing. Because again, you have to realize, Mario Wonder has wonder in the title. Literally, the game is designed to make you wonder and question and go, huh, who, what, where, why, huh, how? How did that happen? What, how, who? You know, it's supposed to make you question everything. So how would you do if you played a game you've never played before and not ask a single question. 
That was the challenge I set for myself. And boy, howdy, was it fun. And for that reason, it's going straight to the top of A tier. Easily top of A tier. Again, it was so much fun. It was my first experience with Mario Wonder. And the challenge was actually thought through. This is something I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to learn that I just need to think more. And then suddenly everything makes sense. Oh. Huh. Apparently we're not done. Okay, hey, look. It's this stream. The stream I am currently streaming right now. Where do we rank today's stream? That is the question on, I mean, maybe not everybody's mind, but on my mind. Oh boy, today's stream was so much fun. It was filled with tons of rankings, tons of really foresight on the channel, really thinking about everything that I've, really thinking about everything that's led me here, appreciating every moment, even the absolute garbage ones, appreciating every moment and everyone I've met along the way. Truly a way to recap it all. And for that, I'm putting this in at the very, very top of S, S tier. Primarily because this this stream is basically all of my videos combined into one. Everything, every video I've made since uh, every video and every subscriber, every person, every like, every view, all has accommodated into this one moment. And I'd just like to take this time to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everyone who has watched and subscribed and has helped me get this far. A thousand subscribers was a goal of mine for this year. Thank you all so much. I cannot tell you how appreciated I am for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I hope I've brought a little bit more light to your day. And I hope all of you have enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.